Hello, my name is Jack Dolls, Director of Training at Tulsa Wellness School in Jacksonville, Florida. And uh, some of our students and other people have been asking about, they want to see a 5G 7018 filling cap. Okay, so we're going to show it to you today. I went ahead and put a root in one. This is a TIG root in here. Uh, whether you put 6010 or whatever your process is for, for putting the root in, I went ahead and did that so I could show you the filling cap. So we've got our uh, TIG root in. I'm going to run a 332 7018. I'm going to run anywhere from about 85 to 90 on the amps. Um, and once again, we're going to keep it in there real nice and tight. We're going to keep a tight arc length and we're just going to spread it out. As you can see in here, what we'll do is I'll strike up. I'll try to keep the rod head on at all times. Okay. I don't want to get a much of an angles going. I don't want a hard push or I definitely don't want a drag coming up the pipe. So like I said, you want to try to keep it head on the whole time. And we're just going to do a little oscillation in here. Uh, just filling it up, watching the metal run up the sides of the bevel. Do not go over your beveled edges because that's your guideline for putting your cap on. So make sure you keep it inside the groove, but get it up to the edge of the, of the beveled edge. And then when you're ready to put a cap on, then it'll be nice and flush. It's easy just to wash over your beveled edges and put a nice clean cap on. So I've got everything set up. Um, let's get started. So we're still running our uh, fill pass here with 7018, getting it filled up flush here. Let's continue on. See that side pretty good. Let's finish up this side. All right. Hang in there, we're almost there. Okay, so we've got one now filled up. We've got a 5G uh, 7018 fill in there. And so uh, we're going to go back and put the cap on now. But you can see um, how much I left my beveled edges. You can see I got it up to flush, but you can still see my beveled edges on both sides. Like I say, those are your guides for putting a nice clean cap on. So don't wash away your beveled edges. Keep everything inside the groove. And like I say, just keep a nice tight arc length. And uh, you can run it well as you can run it like this as well. So everything's filled up, got it all nice and filled and ready to go. So let's put a nice cap on it, okay? Okay, and all we're doing is just keeping it nice and tight in there. 
and just keeping our nice tight arc length in there and just watching it spread over the beveled edges, okay? Keep it right inside the groove, watch the metal, watch the puddle wash over the beveled edge. As soon as it washes over the beveled edge, you're off to the other side. All right. All right, looking good. All right, we'll go ahead and put the cap on this side. So we got us a nice fill on here, a nice cap on here. If you give me just a second, I'm gonna grind it, clean it all up, wire wheel it, and we can inspect and take a good look at it. So give me just a second here. So we got a nice little cap on there. I hope you can see it. Let's break it off here for you. Nice clean cap all the way around. This is how you do a 5G 7018 filling cap. Like I say, it's all about uh, keeping everything cool, keeping everything under control, keeping a nice tight arc length. Uh, like I said, I ran my amps on around uh, 86 amps, 86 volts, and uh, 86 amps, sorry. And uh, like I say, ran 332 7018. Just kept everything in there nice and tight and uh, it will turn out good. So with a little time practice, you can make wells like this too. Thank you for watching and uh, have a great day. Hey everyone, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something today. And if you wanna stay up to date and get tips and tricks to become a better welder, then subscribe to our channel. And if you would like to learn even more right now, click on our video. Thank you and we'll see you next time.